Welcome back to Shine Like a Diamond. I hope you guys are having a absolutely wonderful Monday today. It is 2.30 in the afternoon, and if you see that little red live button down there, then I'm still live. And if you don't, then you're watching this unboxing on the replay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So this week, um, I have three of um, the Halloween unboxings to do. Three paintings, sorry. Three of the Halloween paintings from Diamond Art Club. And um, <clears throat> I thought, you know, everybody really, really enjoyed when we did the uh, live unboxing that couple times. And doing one unboxing with three paintings with the way I talk, well, it might, um, you know, go on for for a long time so i decided i will i will do one on here so we're gonna do one live and then the other ones you will get tomorrow morning um as like a regular unboxing video for the other two um so yeah that's what i decided to do i was gonna do it this morning but i have been suffering with a really bad sinus headache today and honestly, like, <laughs> this is the first I have really gotten up. Um, I mean, I've been up and stuff and dealt with the kids and all that. Can you not open it? Did you put it on no, too that's tight? There, my dear. There you go. Oh, sorry. Had to help Maddie open a, a bottle. Um, anyways, like, I mean, I got up this morning with the kids that, you know, Eight some you know they have to be be on the computers at eight thirty so I was up a little before eight make sure they were up got them ready and all that stuff but I've been dozing on and off on the couch all day um, and finally about two o'clock uh, after having a little bit of caffeine my head is finally getting a little bit better uh, if you know me well I don't do caffeine I don't I don't do well on caffeine it makes me kind of moody it makes me really tired like so I only had a tiny tiny bit just to see if I could take the edge off of the headache. Uh, and that's all, you know, it did. I might have more actually later just because, yeah, it, it's not gone, but I'm so used to having headaches that it's like, one. it's just, it's not like a huge issue, but okay. Let's see who we got in here real quick. This isn't going to be a long live. Um, I'm uh, hoping to have it done around three o'clock. Otherwise you're going to have to deal with the loudness of my dogs. Um, barking because my husband gets home at three o'clock um, and I mean they only bark for a second and I can get them to quiet down but um, I don't know how to mute my microphone on my phone when I used to use my um, uh, what do you call it webcam and I used my computer I knew how to to mute it um and i used so that was like super easy peasy let him squeezy but i can't do that because i don't know how to do that on my phone um like i've looked and i don't see any like you know buttons to push <laughs> to do that so i don't know i don't know and i'm afraid if i touch something then i won't be able to untouch it you know undo it whatever so okay um we have Jill and Daniel, Danielle, sorry, read that wrong, my bad, my bad, um, Kaya, Bernil, um, Kim, Randy, Randy, I haven't seen you on here in a while, how have you been, my dear, um, ooh, sorry, got distracted there, okay, Aaron and Mary and Susan and Cranes Creations, welcome, glad you could make it. Um, we got Tara. She says, hello, Beth from Colorado. Welcome. We got S&J Creations. Um, S&J Creations, remind me again, what is your actual name? I can't remember if you said Jane, maybe? What's your actual name? I just can't remember it. It's driving me nuts. So, um, Bernie also says, same, sinuses are hurting. Yep. So my sinuses do it when the weather pressure changes a lot. And so I think that's what it is. It's windy outside. So um, I even had my kids take the dogs out today, which is very unlike me. I like, I usually am pretty religious about doing that myself. 
um, taking, because they usually go on three walks every day. Um, I do at least three walks. I do one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. And then usually, like, <clears throat> late afternoon, I take them outside for, like, a potty short break training session outside. But so far, my kids are the only ones that have done it today. But anyway, um, Jessica, or Jess, okay. So I was off. I was off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jessica. I'll try to remember that. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Nicole. I'm so glad you could make it, Nicole. Wasn't sure if you would, because I know you at work. Uh, Vanessa, Nick and Tina. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So, okay. <clears throat> we are going to open one of these by the boys. Now, I know, okay, so what I think I might do is I know one of them has probably already been opened to death, but I'm still opening that one in my unboxings. So you're going to have to deal with it one way or another. However, and I don't normally do this. I'm normally pretty secret secretive about which ones I have. And I normally don't tell you guys um, until I'm like literally putting the canvas down. But maybe for special funsies today... What if I give you guys the option of which ones out of two? Drea, welcome. Silver, welcome. Um, the options out of two that you want to see. Now, Scaredy Cat, like I said, I know it's been opened many times. Again, you're going to have to see it on my unboxing. Well, you don't have to. You can fast forward my unboxing. I don't care. But the other two I got, um, I'm going to let you guys choose, I guess. Okay? So... It is going to be between these two. Let's see if I can bring my camera down because I'm going to have to move my camera up anyways once I get going. So we've got Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble, which is the two dragons, um, you know, making the cocoa. And then we've got um, the Beekeeper Witch. Which one do y'all want to see? Which one? Um... Kaya says she's working on Scaredy Cat right now. Okay, we got one vote for dragons. We got two vote for dragons. Three for dragons. Four for dragons. Five for dragons. Six. I think it's going to be dragons, y'all. Like, I'm pretty sure that is the one um, that you're going to, yeah, that you're, y'all are saying dragons. Okay, we're going with dragons then. Um, this one, we'll have to open in the unboxing. I am very excited to see her because I think she's so cute. Okay. She reminds me of something though that's like not just Halloween. It's like a little bit more fall too, you know, which was one of the reasons I really, really like her. Um, Angie, welcome. I'm so glad you could come. And Tan Philly one, welcome. Don't think I've seen your name on here before. So welcome. Denise, welcome. Um, did I say hi, Amanda, yet? I'm not sure. If I didn't, Amanda, hello and welcome. Okay. So, guys, I don't... I've only done a live unboxing twice, so I'm still figuring it out. And actually, I was trying to figure it out to where I could do it on my kitchen table today with my new tripod, but my kitchen table's too slippery. And I didn't have a, um, whatever you call it, um... You know, one of those sticky pad things that make it so that it won't slip. So, unfortunately, I can only go up so high with the camera or with my tripod that's on my table. So, we're just going to have to deal with it. Luckily, this one isn't, like, quite as big as some are. So, um, we'll just kind of play it. We'll just play it by ear and we'll do as best best as we can, right? All right, where'd my knife go? There it is. Ugh. Get the plastic off. Okay. Let me go down because I had moved my camera or my things up. Um. Sorry, just just looking at the um the chat. Okay. Also, guys, in case you didn't hear, um, I announced this on Saturday, and it's in my Facebook group. Um, 
that I am giving away the So Many Books, So Little Time painting on TikTok. So if you are one of those that didn't get it and wanted it, or you just maybe can't afford it or something, and you want a chance to win it, head over to TikTok and um, do what you got to do on there. Um, my account on TikTok is Shine Like a Diamond 64. So, um, and it's like I said, it's posted in my Facebook group. The video, I believe, is posted in my Facebook group. And there are two different videos, so there are two chances actually to win. If you do the, um, you know, like and comment on both of those videos, then it doubles your chances. So, just a little FYIzer. Okay, we got our, our normal packet, um, which has, you know, the normal in it. The pen, the tray, the wax. The baggies, the squishy squishy, yada yada yada. That's it though. Um, I don't see any multi-placers or anything in there this time. Oh, this is a round, by the way. So we've got our little sticker, which this is what that looks like. Just like that. The sticker is this part. So you can put this on your journal, you can put it on your storage container, you can put it on the side of your box for um, when you're storing all your boxes. Like if you're like me and you have a bazillion boxes in one area, it's nice to have this like on the top of the boxes or on the side of the boxes, you know, so you don't gotta pull all of them out. Um, and then you get your, and I know I don't usually show the big sticker um, until I show the canvas, but y'all know what I'm showing you. So that is the thumbnail right there. And it has 49, okay, I'm sorry. Y'all are upside down, my bad. I am going to, because it, it's gonna be a pain in the took us, I think, to, well, maybe I can. Let me see, hold on. Let's see, did that flip it? Did we flip? I think we flipped. I think we good now. There we go, okay. There we go. We good? I think so. Sorry about that. Okay, let me show you that again so that you're not upside down. Here is, oh, for Pete's sakes. There we go. There's the thumbnail. And there are 49 colors in this one. Holy snickerdoodles. That's a lot. 49 colors, okay. This one, like I said, guys, it is a round. It is a 56 by 64 centimeters or 22 by 25 inches, whatever metric system, whatever, whatever you want to go by. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. So, yeah, Silver, TikTok is just like a little video thing, and I kind of feel the same way about, like, not wanting one, not wanting to get one, blah, blah, blah. But um, I figured, you know, for my social media, I might as well. And uh, my good friend Ariel is on there. And she, I watch, so I watch her videos. And I used to just only watch her videos. But now, like, I've gotten into, like, I would say the better side of it. Where it's not, like, you know, I don't like all of the, I don't know trends as much as I do like the actual like I like the diamond painting section and and I like like the heartwarming and the the like the animal stuff and the funny stuff like um I tell you if you are on TikTok and you have not seen call me Chris check her out she makes my day like she is hilarious um she's only been on TikTok since March I believe and she's already hit 7 million followers like she is and she's so like genuine but she's hilarious you guys she is so funny and she does these little skits that are so like you just think oh my gosh that was me as a kid or you know what I mean they're just so funny I have watched some of them like over and over and over because they make me laugh so much um, Diamond Painting with Ruby Q. Hello and welcome. Pauline, welcome. 
Um, Lisa, welcome. Okay, are we all ready? Are we ready? All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna lay it down. Now, I'm guessing that the whole thing isn't gonna show all at once, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of adjustments, a little bit. So I can try to get it all in at once. So. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm gonna do something. I am going to try something new. Hold on a second. Hold on to your your pantalones. We're going for a little bit of a different ride here. Okay. I'm gonna do this way this time, just for this one time. Um, and I'm not gonna stay like this because I don't want to make y'all motion sickness, but you know, shaking it. So, <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna do this so that I can at least show you the whole thing really quick. Here it is. Oh my gosh. How adorably cute is this? Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the marshmallows, the puffy little marshmallows. They're so cute. Okay, this is going to be adorable. Again, here is the thumbnail if you missed it. Um, come on, lay flat. I got one hand here to work with. So there's the thumbnail. Look at those cute little faces. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is adorable. Adorable. I'm loving the fire down here that's like, do you like my Lucky Charm pajamas? Yes. They're my favorite cereal, and my daughter bought them for me for Christmas last year. And they were a little bit small, but now they fit me perfectly. So I've been wearing them as lounge pants because they're super cozy. Okay, look. Oh, my gosh. I am, like, loving the detail in this. We got, like, a little spooky, spooky tree um, up here. There's my Lincoln in the background with my messy, messy house. Don't, don't mind that. We got, like, what looks like a haunted haunted house kind of a thing back here um i love their little witch hats oh my gosh everything about this is absolutely adorable so again here is the 49 colors and i am going to show you all the symbols here i don't normally do it this way but hey why not okay so and then at the very bottom of your canvas it will have your thumbnail and all the information. So Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble. Randall Spangler is the artist in this one. Um, and then it'll have your dimensions. And I'm really loving how they're putting the artist on it now. Because I think they deserve that credit. You know what I mean? Um, okay. As far as ABs go, we've got... 134 and 141, which is the green and the white. So, where are they? Well, they're going to be definitely, we've got green in the um, dragons. All of the numbers in the dragons. Number one, which I'll put you in a little closer so you can kind of see it. I don't know why my camera's being fuzzy fuzzy here, but it is. Is it dirty? Where's my camera? Where is it? Here. Hold on. Just a sec. Squeak, 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 squeak. Okay. That didn't help. I don't know why it's being fuzzy, but it's being a butt. And I can't really zoom. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, not doing that again. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> so all the green right there, the number one, that is all ABs. We've got it over here as well. Um, um, all through this, all that green. Green, 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 green. So yes, they are full of ABs. And then the white is, we've got some like down here in the stone, all that white area is all ABs. And I'm guessing maybe in the marshmallows over here. Let's look. Yes. The white in the marshmallows, that is ABs as well. So you got your white ABs there. Um, I think it would be kind of fun if you had them. To throw in some orange um, ABs on the lines here. Wouldn't that be really cute going down the pumpkins? Like just, just the lines. Like a reddish orange. I think that would be really cool looking. Just in my, in my poisonal opinion. Okay, I'm going to flip it. Put you back up in my little tripod here. 
So give me a second to work it all out. Here we go. Oh, I gotta flip you. So you're not upside down. I know. Those of you that have motion sickness are like reaching for the drama mean. I apologize. I apologize. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous painting, you guys. Like, I'm loving this. So, I'll tell you this se little secret. And I'm only going to tell it to y'all because you're in here. I got three paintings. You now know which three I got. One of these are going to be a giveaway. I wasn't sure at first which one was going to be the giveaway because, well, I like all three of them that I got, but now I have decided this little bad boy is staying in my possession. So is the Bewitch. Therefore, Scaredy Cat, which let me show you, if you just, in, just on the off chance you haven't seen it, Scaredy Cat is going to be my Halloween giveaway. So, if you didn't get a chance to get it, and they are limited edition. So, once they're gone, they're supposedly gone. That is what limited edition usually means. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I have decided after looking at this one. I was pretty sure this was the one I wanted to keep. My daughter really liked Scaredy Cat more, but I'm like, you know. Plus, the other thing for me is, like, I'm working on Sweet Tooth right now. I'm almost done with it. My headache that I had yesterday and today put me a couple days behind schedule of where I thought I would be with it. But I want to finish it because I have such a little amount left of it before I start my Halloween fall painting. And even though this is obviously can be Halloween, it's also fall-like to me. And Scaredy Cat is very much Halloween. Very much Halloween. So I'm most likely going to be giving Scaredy Cat away on Saturday. This coming Saturday during the live. So, okay, really quick, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna look, look, real quick. Just to be, just in the chat real quick, and then I will um, show you all the drills. Okay, um, let's see. Amanda says, hi everyone, my first live chat with this channel. Oh, that's really cool, Amanda. I'm glad that you could make it today. Um, 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 um. I'm just, sorry, I'm reading. Okay, so Amanda says, it's awesome. So many books has been out of stock. So generous. Yeah, I love it, but it's so big. And I have so many that I'm like, you know, with as big as it is, I just, like, time-wise, I'm just thinking, by the time I was able to do it, um, I could always get it again if I wanted to. But And I know so many people really, really wanted it that didn't get it. Um, and so that was kind of my other reason behind it. Okay, so we've got, um, sorry, just, Pauline says, ah, nice, mine isn't here yet, nice preview. Um, Danielle says, 49 colors. Mary says, glow in the dark, baby. No, this one is not glow in the dark. This one is just ABs. Um, if it's glow in the dark, um, right, so, okay, <clears throat> you can see the number here, right here, where the, a, it says 134, 141, those are just ABs. If it's glow in the dark, it will have a, um, an E usually in front of it, so they, these are not glow in the dark, but it would be really cool with glow in the dark. Because I don't see any glow-in-the-dark stickers on here. I mean, labels on here. So, yeah. Um, where's the box? Where's the box? Because it would say two. And, yeah, no. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't, I wasn't wrong here. But no, it is not glow-in-the-dark. This one is not. Um, sweet tooth is, though. Ha, ha, ha. And that one, oh my gosh, if you have a chance to get Sweet Tooth, get it. You won't regret it. You will not regret it. Um, okay, so Amanda says, what about the labels, hot chocolate, marshmallows, cocoa? Would they look good in AB? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it'd be fun to have some extra ABs in there. Um, you could put ABs on, you could do um, black ABs on this, which would be really cool. Um, you could do white ABs on your marshmallows. And you could do, hmm, what color would be good on the brown? Because there's really not a lot of brown ABs. I'm just looking and seeing the colors that I have. You could do like a yellow maybe on the, I don't know. I'm not sure about the cocoa one yet on which, which color you'd want to put there. I'm not sure. But you could definitely, um, on the letters for sure, you could spice it up with a little ABs. That would be really cool. Y'all know me, like I love to do some customizing in mine, which is why I think over here in these pumpkins, I think an orange, um, like, let me show you what I mean, which color I'm, show, I'm, I'm talking about. By the way, we are not gonna make it <laughs> in time for my dogs to not bark at you. So just be prepared for that when my husband walks in the door, they will bark. Um, so, there's like this orangish red right there, or there's like this orangey red. Now, wouldn't that be so cool lining this pumpkin and this pumpkin over here? Like, I think that would be really cool looking, personally. Um, Sweet Tooth, I am like decking out in a bunch of glow glass because I love it so much. Um, let's see, Sandy, thank you. She says, hey, and you said love the videos or like the videos, but I'm pretty sure you mean love the videos. So thank you. I so appreciate it. Um, Sparkles, DP Jeremy, hello, how are you? Um, oh, almost done with Sneaky Cat. That one's huge too. Holy Toledo it is. Um, we got Marsha says, hello, thought I missed it. You did not. Um, Angie says, oh my gosh, I missed the thing about Scaredy Cat because my husband was yelling stuff up to me, LOL. All I was saying was Scaredy Cat's gonna be my giveaway. So. Um, <laughs> Angie says, my list for DAC and cart are full. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. I know, well, actually what I'd say is full is my closet. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Like, the majority of my YouTube money I get goes to DAC. Like, I might as well just be like, YouTube, just send it to them. Just, just send it to them and, you know, yeah. Kathleen, welcome. She says, um, if you had extra from another DAC glow in the dark, you could use them. Absolutely, Kathleen. So, like, the green ones. Okay, hold on, because my dog is being a whiny butt. You want to go in there? Okay. Go ahead, the big baby. So, where you guys saw him a second ago laying down, that's my kid's door. And he wanted to go in with Maddie, so. Um, anyways, so the glow-in-the-dark ones I have right now, the green glow-in-the-dark ones I have for um, Sweet Tooth would be really, really cool. Like, you could add them a little extra, like, Maybe in just the dragons or something would be really cool looking. I think, anyways. But then you'd kind of have to decide if you wanted to do um, the ABs and the... Uh, I don't know. You'd have to just kind of decide. But the glow glass would be really cool in this, too. Um, we got Pink Lock. Hello. Welcome. Glad you can make it. M and H says, I don't like this homeschooling, which is Mallory, I believe. Um, <laughs> Hey, hey, because Lincoln is in the bedroom, he's going to continue to bark until I go let him out. Just a minute, y'all. Just a minute. Eli, hush. Quick. Go. Okay, hush, hush. All right, thank you. Go ahead. Silly dogs. Silly dogs. Okay. 
you know, they got to bark, make sure it's just, <laughs> Eli like, ran out, or Lincoln ran out here, barked, ran up to my husband, got all excited, you know, and then was like, okay, just him, we're going back to the bedroom. Um, Maddie's eating a snack right now, so, you know, he's got to have every chance he can get at that snack. Um, our schools may reopen. Um, so our schools here are doing, well, there's one district in Spokane that's open. But my kids' school is not. And elementary right now has kindergartners there, just kindergartners. And they're slowly going to work up the grades. That's the plan. I don't know how much that'll happen once, you know, numbers start to go up. However, you can continue to keep them home if you want, and I will definitely be doing that. My reasons why are Maddie is a type 1 diabetic. She's a higher risk already. Two... Because she's a type 1 diabetic and she's a 6th grader, she cannot do any of her own um, medical treatment at school herself. She has to go to the nurse. Well, where do all the sick kids go? Uh, to the nurse. So, I kind of don't want her sitting in the nurse's office with a bunch of sick kids multiple times a day because on an average day, she goes to the nurse mm, on a good day three times. That's on a good day when she's got perfect blood sugars on a bad day she could be in there six seven eight times like you just don't know so i, I just i'm uh i'm she's gonna be doing online schooling for a while and i'm fine with that she's she does pretty good with it um danielle and she's doing really good actually since we got her pump back again um and we have put um, we've inputted different numbers over the past couple weeks. We've been increasing numbers as she's been growing and, and, you know, getting to that age where hormones change and everything. She's got to, uh, you know, insulin, like I've said before, insulin is a hormone, so it affects everything. So, um, we have had better numbers the last like week in the morning. And so I even, I, I upped her insulin even more. And today she woke up at 119 blood sugar, which is like... You, I mean, any more perfect than that, it would have to be like 100. I mean, 119 is amazing. Especially because normally, like when we were on shots, she was waking up in the 300s almost daily. And I was fighting her blood sugars constantly. So, uh, she's doing so much better. She was low just a couple minutes ago. But, you know, that is one of those things that kind of comes with the territory of being a diabetic. But it's also... Definitely comes with the territory of trying to figure out your dosages and stuff because it, it's just different. Well, and actually, she knows it was the low this time was actually her mistake, and she knows it because her pump knows how much in insulin she has working inside of her body. And um, she was 211, that was her blood sugar, and it told her she didn't need any insulin. Well, she looks at that number and says, no, but I do. And it said no, so she went against it and gave herself the insulin. And the pump knew she didn't need it because she had it in her system, and so she dropped. So um, I kind of just had to remind her, like, the pump knows. Even though sometimes it seems like you need it, you know, you just have to sometimes trust um, trust it. You know what I mean? It's, But it's hard. It's hard. And I get it's hard. Because there are times where I really want to give her more. And it's like, mm, I know the pump has said you have enough. So, okay. I don't know where in the world is Carmen San Diego. No, seriously. I don't know where I put the drills. I, I had to put them somewhere. Where did I put them? I usually put them right next to me. But I did not. I did not do that this time. Ah, I did put them next to me, but then I moved my little AB, extra AB container and moved it right on top of it. So that way it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't seen. So, um, Drea says we just had another COVID death in our little town this morning. There has been a lot of new cases in our town. My kids will be. Not going back to school either. Yep, I agree. I'm so sorry though. That's sad. It's sad when anybody dies and it's it's just oh man. It's a scary thing. It really is. But I totally agree with you, Drea. Like the inconvenience of having them home um and driving me crazy is worth it to me. So 
And it's not just that. Like, there's a lot of other things at school that are, you know, bonkers. And I'm good with that. As long as they're getting the education that they need, I'm fine. And getting the, you know, social aspects that they need, I'm, I, I'm, I'm one of the moms that are maybe weird and like them home. I mean, there are times where I really, really would like to have some alone time. Um, because I don't really get any of that, but last weekend, I think it was, my husband went to his mom's to visit her, and I'm like, you know, I must stay home. I must stay home and just enjoy the just me here, you know, because it just doesn't happen now, but it is worth it, um, for them, and, uh, you know, my kids aren't really, really little, so it's different. Mallory has pretty young kids. And, um, well, Drea has, you know, a younger one too, but, um, yeah, my kids are, are somewhat more responsible for their own stuff. Like I do, I do make sure that they're up. I usually give them breakfast and I make lunch. I've been making like hot lunches just because that's what they would get if they were at school. Um, not every day, but on most days, like today I made pizzas, uh, English muffin pizzas. And... But, you know, it's just one of those, it's just a weird world right now. It really, really is. Diamond Sparkle Chase, hello. You're not late, girl, because I didn't set this up. I didn't schedule it, so there was no time. Um, it was just kind of an impromptu pop-up live um, unboxing live. Angie says, I'm so glad that your daughter is doing better. I wish my husband would switch to, the, to what your daughter is doing for her diabetes, but he has his pump. Um... <laughs> shh, shh, we gotta be quiet. We gotta be quiet, guys, because Nicole's working. She's working. Well, she's supposed to be working. She's been really slow lately, so it's all good. Um, yeah, Angie, if he has a pump, then he should be, um, able to, you know, change his numbers around and, and get it to where he needs to be. If you have any questions or ever, you know, want to talk about it, I'm always, I'm always here. I'm always here. I've dealt with it my entire life because my mom, it, my mom is a type 1 diabetic. So, and she has been since she was 10. And so my entire life I have been around it. And then I had it when I was pregnant with both of my kids. And, um, and then obviously now Maddie has had it for, um, six years in a month. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull you down a little bit. See if that's close enough. Close enough, y'all. I usually have you closer, but I can't. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. That might be too close. Ha <laughs> ha! Trying to figure this out. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Is that good? Is that good, y'all? I'm trying to stay in the camera here. Work with me. Just work with me. Okay. This is a 939. Then we've got 322. Then we have 947, um, 37.99, 740. These are the old packaging, by the way. The new packaging I like better because they're actually easier to read, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, we've got 803, 3755, um, 312, 3371. <clears throat> trying to read these like backwards kind of upside down in the camera it doesn't work very well for me in my brain um my brain works backwards half the time anyways okay we've got 977 317 141 that's your ab right there look how beautiful um then we have um 301 right here 37.76 and your other green. Here's your green AB. Look how gorgeous. Oh, I love them. Love them. Okay. Um, then, oh, by the way, green is 134 is the DMC number. This one is 895, 300, 400. Whoops, I'm going far out. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Going far out, not in the groovy way. That was a lame joke. I, I apologize. That was a dad joke, wasn't it? Okay, 904, 321, 890, 3855, 
905, 741, um, 413, 743, uh, 334, 938, I like that brown, it's like a chocolate, like a dark chocolate, 310, only one bag of 310 on here so far, what the what, what the what, that's the only bag of 310s guys, that's crazy, that is insanity, I'm used to handling and Manny Mandano DACs, so what, and like right now, I'm doing Micah Jolina, and there's a lot. A lot. Okay. Here we go. We've got 210, 3782, 37, 87, 333, 318, 797. This is, I know this is a really common color, but it's one of my favorites. It is so pretty. It's like in between that blue purple color. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, 640, uh, 414, 498. I love this one too. 907, it's like that neon green. Um, 796, this is the color of the glow in the dark greens, by the way, in Sweet Tooth. Um, 3823 and 841. And that are the, um, those, oh, you can turn that off if you want. I'm done, sorry. I was gonna make another one for Alex, but he didn't ever ask, so. Anyways, okay, so those are your drills, guys. Those are your 49 different colors. Now, when I saw that it was 49 colors, I was thinking, man, there's going to be some heavy, heavy confetti in this. And it's really not. It's just a lot of colors, but it's not bad. I mean, there, it's what I consider, like, the happy medium. It's like Sweet Tooth right now. It's a happy medium. It changes enough to keep you interested, but it's not, like, where you're doing a section and your drills keep having babies, you know? constantly and you're like where did these come from because they're sectioned off enough so I think and I'm showing you this as though you could see it because I have you zoomed in my apologies um but yeah it's sectioned off enough to where it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect I think perfect um let me go back up just a second silver says shine I would make the moon glow in the dark and the lights in the house and in um, the tendrils of smoke coming from the cauldron oh I agree I actually agree I think making that moon glow in the dark oh yes that would be that would be awesome yes or or if you didn't have that glow glass in like yellow glow glass um yes for that moon that would be gorgeous which i have yellow glow glass that would be really really cool looking but i'm still sticking with my a b lines on these pumpkins i'm gonna be highlighting those pumpkins i tell you what um nicole says yes it's true work is slow drea says we just found out last month that jay my hubby ha is type two. Oh, drea i'm so sorry I mean, I know, I know that type 2 is what they consider less dangerous and easier, but it is still a huge, huge lifestyle change. And, you know, it's, it's not an easy change for a lot of people, especially like people that drink coffee, um, like really sugary coffees and energy drinks and soda and like that kind of stuff, um, because that really changes and affects your blood sugars and taking that out when you're really used to it that's hard because I've had friends go through it um hold on silver says I thought you would be rushed off um feet and cold and flu season um Angie says I asked for a mail-in vote and, and I got it and mailed it in very cool um 
His insurance won't cover it, he said, but I think he is just stubborn. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, the pumps are so much easier because, like, okay, on an average day, Maddie would have to give herself eight shots. That's a lot of shots for a little girl. Like, that's a lot of shots for an adult. But that's a lot, right? With a pump, she gets poked one time every three days. That's it. So not only does it save on getting poked, but it also saves like on her skin and her scar tissue and all of that. Um, it, it's, it's, it's very, very much worth it. Very, very much. Um, Angie says, can you believe I finally got my mom to diamond paint? Um, with, to my sister's help and now she is hooked. Most people who do it, who try it, they get hooked real fast. We have a snowstorm coming soon tonight in good old Minnesota. Snow? Uh-uh. No, it's too early. Too early for snow. Um, Drea says, yeah, or is just plain stubborn and eats all kinds of junk food. That, too. Yeah, that, too, can make it hard. Nick and Tina is back. Um, But, yeah, it's... And some people think it's just a sugar. It's not sugar. It's not the sugar that you have to really watch for. It's carbs. Um, because it's the carbs that, that make your blood sugar go up and down. And so I can't tell you how many looks I have got from people when we're in the store and I've said something to Maddie about carbs. And they look at me like I'm an evil mom. Because I'm talking to my, you know, especially when she was like six, seven. And she was like this tiny little thing. And I would say something like, oh, Maddie, that has too many carbs. And like, I would get these looks from other moms like... Did you say that to your six-year-old? Like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, back off. She got diabetes. Um. Tara says, I had, I've had type 2 diabetes since 2010. I hate it. Girl, I feel you because basically when you have um, uh, gestational diabetes, it's similar to type 2. Um, like, I was on insulin because... It's, it's, it is type two because it's, it's to the point where your body can't make enough insulin anymore, but because it's different with the pregnancy and that being the cause of it, a lot of times you end up on strictly insulin and that you don't take pills to help. Um, and so I was on insulin during both, both of, well, no, actually with my, my son, I wasn't on insulin. Um, not until the very end. Maddie, I was on insulin like in the beginning. So I was borderline before I actually had her. And then after I had her, I lost weight. And ever since then, my numbers have been good. I check them on her um, her meter actually like once a month. So. Silver says I'm working on getting my family hooked. Um, Mallory's it's hot here in California as usual. Yeah, well, California is one of those that's pretty warm normally. I don't know what it is outside because, like I said, because I've been struggling with that headache today. The kids took the dogs out this morning and this afternoon, so I don't even know. I have no idea. Seth, is it cold out today? Um, it was in the morning. It's pretty nice out here. So hubby just said it was cold this morning, but it's pretty nice right now, so. Um, I'll be having to go out here in a little bit anyways because um, I walk our neighbor's dog um Paco little chihuahua they are elderly and he had a stroke um, about a year ago and they can't walk him anymore and so I walk them I walk him for them um every day and in the afternoon so so he can get out and get some exercise he was getting pretty chunky there because they just they just couldn't get him exercise and since I've been walking him now he's he's lost he's like a good a good weight now for a little chihuahua um and, and it gets him out and you know lets him go potty and and he absolutely loves me and maddie like uh when he sees maddie he just goes he goes from like calm to just like crazy hyper the diamond lady hello welcome we're just almost wrapping up here but welcome angie says my husband has type one since he was a young kid and about six years ago i became type two type two shows up in only the sides of later years yeah so type two is usually um you know as you get older 
and your body just can't keep up with it anymore. And type 1 is, is typically what they consider juvenile diabetes is when they get it when they're young. Now, that doesn't mean you cannot develop type 1, it, you know, later. It's just really unlikely. Usually kids get type 1, you know, before 18, and the majority of, get, of them get it before they're 10. Maddie was 5 when she got it. Yes, Silver Whip It Wednesdays are coming back um, this week. So I will be posting that link um, today because it's Monday today. So be watching for that. It's 55 where you are, Nicole. Yeah, it's probably about, I don't know, 60 here, I'm guessing. If, if it's, you know, going with what it normally is. I don't, let me see. Let me turn the menu up. So yeah, ha, I was right on the nose. It's 60 degrees here. So, which is pretty, pretty typical for this time of year. Um, so, geez, 80. Whoo, that's, see, that's summer weather. And it's definitely fall here. Like, leaves are falling down and it's getting really cold at night. And, um, yes. Oh, yeah. The Diamond Lady, she says she's recovering from the amazing weekend retreat. Yes. I'm so glad you guys had so much fun. But yet, there's 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 still some jealousy there. I won't, I won't lie. I won't lie. I wish I could have been there. I really do because I wanted to meet all y'all so much. Drea says it's 40-something here. Oh, my gosh. That is cold. That's freezing. Um... Eighty and eighty-four. Holy cow, you guys! That's that's warm. Mallory says it is not fall here. Kids are still swimming. They're still doing the slip and slide. Um, yeah, not here. Nope. But you're in California. I'm in you know Washington, and so it's you know, and I'm in North Washington, so it's not. Yeah, we start. We usually have our last like hot days at the end of September. Sometimes we'll get a couple of them in the early October, but by middle to late October, it's it's in the 60s. Um sometimes 50s, you know, but yeah. It's a, it doesn't usually go over like 65 anymore in October. Cats are coming in with freezing cold paws, definitely not summer anymore. Right, right. I know. Um my cat's been the same way. He's loves going outside at night. And he's been coming in lately and, like, his fur is all cold and he hasn't been wanting to stay out quite as long either. He's got to, he's got to develop that, you know, that winter coat first. It's 32 in where Kim is in Iowa. Holy cow. That is snow weather right there. Mm -mm. We didn't get to swim this year, really. It sucked because our pool never opened. We live um, in an apartment complex, and we have a beautiful, like a huge in-ground pool that is like super well, nice, taking care of, clean. Um, and we live in that pool in the summertime. And this year, we did not get to use it because it never opened because of COVID. It was really weird because we have lived here since the summer. Well, we moved in winter of 2012, and so. That's, like, my kids grew up here. So every year we have lived in that pool. And so this was the first summer that we weren't swimming. And it, it didn't even really feel like summer, a lot of it, because we weren't swimming. Um, yeah, you get fall and you're still, and you're not having 100 weather still in October. Yep, we get fall, that's for sure. We have all four seasons here in Spokane, Washington. And sometimes we get all four seasons in one day. 81 in Florida. Yeah, Florida's a warmer one. It is, it is. Nick and Tina says it's 42. And then she erased it. So I'm not, I wasn't even sure. I was about to read where she was from and then she, she retracted the message. She stole it out from under my nose. Okay, Silver, I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. Because you're talking to an American here. I don't know. I'm, I'm not familiar 
with Celsius. But I think 11 degrees Celsius is pretty cold, isn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I think that sounds pretty cold. 42 here in Ontario. There we go. Okay. Windsor, Ontario. Um... Yeah, and I miss the snow and stuff that I grew up with when it snowed. Yeah, that's something I know if I ever had to move, which I don't think I will, but if I ever did have to move, um, I would definitely miss the snow. I mean, I really like having the snow from Thanksgiving to New Year's. Like, I enjoy the snow. It can come all at once during those times. After New Year's, I'm done, and I would like spring to come, please. And after Valentine's Day, I'm really done. Like, I'm really done. But we get snow, I mean, through April. We've had it in June before. Um, but, yeah, I, I do like having all seasons. That's for sure. That's one good thing. So Pauline says, zero degrees Celsius is the turn point for frost. Oh, that's a good way to think about it. So then, yeah, 11 degrees is pretty cold. It's pretty cold. It's chilly. Drea says, I hate the snow. It makes me hurt. Yeah, that's one thing that I do have a harder time with in the winter time is that I definitely am stiffer and in more pain than I normally am in the summertime. Um, but my family likes the house to be so warm that inside I'm pretty good. So that's 51 degrees Celsius. See, I was thinking it was like 40 degrees Celsius. I mean, Fahrenheit. So, 51's not too bad. That's not too bad. You guys like my little, my mess over here? <laughs> this is like my very cluttered stuff. It's just like anything I'm not, I need to get out of my way goes here. And then it needs to be cleaned very badly. Very, very badly. Um, okay, so what time is it? What time is it? It is 3.30. Okay, so I'm going to get off of here. So, because this has been a very long unboxing. But, you know, that's okay. I love I love chatting with you guys. I love hanging out and just visiting and stuff. Um, but I need to get up, get dressed, and go walk the neighbor dog. Because I do try to walk him in between 3 and 4 o'clock. Anytime after 4 o'clock. And, you know, he starts to need to go potty pretty bad. So, um, oh, thank you, Silver. I appreciate that. Um, makes my heart feel happy. Makes me smile. Um, because, yeah, I really do love all of you guys. I love, I love talking to you. I love talking to you. Um, but yeah, okay, so, and I gotta go check on Maddie because when I started the live, she was low. And, I mean, she had food and, and she had her candy that I gave her and then she had a snack. So, I'm sure she's fine. However... You know, I'm going to go check on her and then go walk the doggo. So, um, today's Monday again in Facebook. Uh, be watching out for that link. It is, I usually put it up in between 7 and 9.30, my time. Um, and, uh, for Whip It Wednesday. And the other unboxings will come out tomorrow. Because I need, I haven't filmed them yet. So, I will film them today and they will be coming out tomorrow. So that'll be Scaredy Cat and the Bee, the Bee Witch, um, which this is the first time I've ever told you guys which ones I'm going to be unboxing before I unbox it. You did not miss the giveaway, Tara. I am just a bad creator. <laughs> no, seriously, I am lately. Um, I, there's just been so much has, that has gone on. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't announced it. Um, and... I have it, I just haven't gone and done it yet. So I need I need to make a time and I will do that this week, you guys. I promise. Um I will announce the um the winner of the three thousand giveaway because we are now over three thousand giveaways and that is the um 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 it's a Hannah Lynn one. Why am I drawing a blank on which one it is? Ooh, which one is it? It's the Nutcracker. That's the one. The Nutcracker. So, if you haven't entered into it and you want to, you still have a couple of days because I haven't done it yet. So, um, and you'll just have to find it. It's in one of the lives that I announced it. 
that you had to enter something in. I don't remember what it is. So, um, Sparkle Chase, I'm not sure. I really was hoping for today, but I'm just not there yet. Um, in the next couple days, it should be, though. So, one, there's two reasons why it's not. One, I was trying to get 100% caught up before I reopened. Two, um, because my purse got stole and we had to cancel our debit cards, I have to have a debit card on file to have the Etsy shop opened. They have not sent it to me yet. They said 7 to 10 days. Tomorrow, it will be 14 days. So, if I don't have it today, I'm going to be calling my bank and saying, where the heck is my card? Um, because I need the card to reopen the shop. So, um, those two things have to happen. So, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. And as soon as I open, I'm going to be having like a Halloween fall sale too. So, be watching. And I'll announce it. I'll announce that. But, yeah. Devin Lady says, enjoyed chatting your live even though I was late. You're the best. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you could make it. Tara says, oh, thank you. I had a call, so I thought I missed it. Nope. You did not miss it. Um, so, okay. Um, I will come up with a time when I do that, that I will do that 3,000, um, giveaway. And, uh, here, we'll either do this. I'll either record it ahead of time and put it out as a video. Or I will, um, post the time that I'm going to do the live giveaway. Because I usually do giveaways live just because I think it's more fun that way, but, um... If for some reason I feel like I can't do it this week live, then I will just make the video and announce it. And, um, so that way I can get the winner their thing. So, but, um, it's a nutcracker one. So that'll be good. That'll be fun. Cause I got, I got the same, I got the same one. I ain't giving you mine cause I have to have it cause it's Hannah Lynn. I have to have all the Hannah Lynn's, you know. Um, he loves me some Hannah Lynn. I'm a little bit obsessed with Harvest a little bit. So, thank you, Nicole. Yeah, if you had fun today, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. It does help. Um, but, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I am going to head out. Thanks again, you guys, for coming in and hanging out with me while we unboxed the Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble. And, um, as always, don't forget, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and you are definitely loved more than you know. So, with that... Keep on shining, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.